Bonjour les filles! Aujourd'hui, nous allons parler de la vie de Vincent Van Gogh. La vie de Vincent Van Gogh, 1853 à 1890. Vincent Van Gogh est né à Zundert, en Hollande, en 1853. Vincent est un garçon sérieux, calme et pensif. Quel âge a-t-il dans cette photographie? Il a plus ou moins 13 ans. C'est en 1866. Est-ce qu'il vient d'une famille riche ou pauvre? Il vient d'une famille assez riche. Le marché à Zundert avec au centre la maison des parents de Vincent. En 1890, quand il a 27 ans, Vincent décide de devenir un artiste peintre. Devenir, ça veut dire to become. Un artiste peintre is a painter artist. Il est déterminé, mais son style n'est pas très original. En 1886, il va à Paris rejoindre son frère Théo. Vincent a 33 ans. La vue depuis la fenêtre de Vincent Van Gogh à Paris. So, if you go to Paris, you can actually visit the house where Vincent Van Gogh lived with his brother Theo from 1886 until 1888. Il travaille à Paris entre 1886 et 1888. Là! Il examine l'art de Monet, de Toulouse-Lautrec, de Pissarro et de Cézanne. So, Van Gogh, in Paris, he would have studied the art of these famous French artists. Voici le cercle chromatique. Quelle est la couleur complémentaire de vert? C'est rouge. Quelle est la couleur complémentaire de bleu? C'est orange. Vincent rencontre Paul Gauguin, un artiste de l'avant-garde, un artiste post-impressionniste. À Paris, Vincent change son style. Il utilise des couleurs plus vives. Right, so 
in Paris, Vincent, he completely changed his artistic style and he started using colors, you know, brighter colors. En 1888, Vincent quitte Paris, he leaves Paris, et part à Arles, dans le sud, in the south of France, de la France. Il a 35 ans. Right, so Paris, or Vincent, he leaves Paris and he goes to Arles in the south of France. And he's 35 years old when he does this. Arles est un site magnifique et Vincent accomplit de nombreux chefs dœuvre Un chef dœuvre equals a masterpiece. So this is an example of one of Vincent's chefs dœuvre It's called Terrasse de café sur la place du Forum. C'est joli, n'est-ce pas? Here's another example of Vincent's work that he completed while staying in the south of France. Another one of his chefs d'oeuvre, one of his masterpieces. Paul Gauguin rejoint Vincent à Arles. Pendant neuf semaines, ils habitent ensemble dans la maison jaune. Right, so voici la maison jaune. Right, so this is the house, the yellow house where Vincent van Gogh and another um, French artist, Paul Gauguin, where they lived together for nine weeks, nine tumultuous weeks. Les acteurs américains, Kirk Douglas and Anthony Quinn, Van Gogh, Van Gogh and Gauguin, dans La Maison Jaune, dans le film Lust for Life, en 1956. So they actually made a film, an American film, about this experience. This adventure in the south of France. Ah, voici la chambre de Vincent Van Gogh. Right, so this is what Vincent's bedroom looked like in Arles. And this is what you did. You did a paint by numbers. Your paint by numbers should have looked similar to this. Mais Paul Gauguin est Aragon, alors il y a une dispute violente. Gauguin quitte Vincent et Arles. Vincent décide de se couper l'oreille. Right, se couper, ça veut dire to cut. En 1800, 91, Gauguin part à Tahiti en Polynésie française. Right, so Paul Gauguin, he leaves France and his wife and children and he moves to Tahiti and starts painting, you know, the life on this island in Tahiti. Vincent est interné à l'hôpital psychiatrique. Right, so Vincent, he goes to live in a psychiatric hospital, but he continues to paint. Oh no, son oreille, oh la la. Ooh, oui, très joli. Mais Van Gogh continue à peindre. Et il est très productif. Right? So, Vincent, even though he's in the psychiatric hospital, he still continues to paint. And he's very productive. He makes a lot of good work. Does a lot of pretty pictures. 
paintings. L'église d'Auvers sur Oise, 1890. You can actually go to this church, and they have this little poster outside of the church to show what Vincent's version of the church looks like. Le 27 juillet 1890, dans un champ, il se tire un coup de revolver dans la poitrine. So unfortunately, Vincent commits suicide on July 27, 1890. La tombe de Vincent Van Gogh est celle de son frère à Auvers-sur-Oise. Right? So you can actually go and see where Vincent is buried next to his brother, Theo Van Gogh. So, c'est Joanna, la femme de Theo, avec la mère de Vincent et le neveu de l'artiste. Vincent Wilhelm. Right, so this is Vincent's nephew, named after him, Vincent Wilhelm. And this is Vincent's mother and his sister in law. And this was a quote by Joanna It was he, Vincent, who helped me to accommodate my life in such a way that I can be at peace with myself. Serenity. This was the favorite word of both of them, Vincent and Theo. The something they considered the highest. Serenity, I have found it. Right? And here's a picture of Vincent van Gogh's nephew, right? The son of Theo and Joanna, um, Vincent Willem van Gogh Jr. Merci les filles. I hope you enjoyed this presentation on Vincent van Gogh, Vincent van Gogh, and I hope you learned a, a little something about this very famous Dutch artist who spent most of his life in France. Um, oui, merci beaucoup d'avoir écouté ma présentation, les filles. Au revoir.